is green that came up to our mock question one the diagram below shows the configuration of a reverse bias pn junction diode does this explain why the configuration is reversed it means that the positive terminal of the power supply is connected to the n type side of the diode a negative terminal is connected to the p type side this configuration widens the depletion region and prevents current from flowing the next question give the name of the region labeled i so this region or this whole region is called a depletion region the next question says describe the row i above place in the current transfer across the diode so the depletion region controls the flow of current in the diode then the IV says, how would the region I be if the diode were forward biased? If the diode were to be forward biased, the depletion region will be narrower, allowing the flow of current through the diode. Then the B. It says that the diagrams below are illustrations of arrangement of particles in the three states of matter. Study them carefully and answer the question as follows. So we have A, B, and C. Identify the state of matter labeled A, B, and C and describe the arrangement of particles in each. So A, looking through, A stands in the middle. So A is, A is liquid. Then the particles are closely packed but can move freely around each other. Then the B, the B is solid. The particles are closely packed in a fixed orderly arrangement. Then the C, particles are loosely packed and can move randomly. Then II, state three differences between A and B. So with A, A is liquid. So you can draw a table or you can differentiate using the word while or but. So the A, particles are closely packed but can move freely. Then B, particles are closely packed in a fixed orderly arrangement then a liquid can flow b solid cannot flow then the third one the particles have a high kinetic energy then the other side is the particles have low kinetic energy then state three characteristics of c so characteristics of gas the gas they have the highest kinetic energy the particles are widely separated from each other and then gas can be compressed. Explain why the three states can change from one to another. The three states can change from one to another due to changes in temperature or pressure, which can cause the matter to change. Then the next question says, name the farm animal. This farm animal is, is a chicken. Then give two exotic breeds. Of the farm animal so we have the plymouth rock chicken and then the mali chicken mali m a l a y plymouth p l y m o u t h plymouth rock chicken then the next one says states three differences between the local and exotic breed so the local breed they are slow growers while the exotic breeds they are fast growers also the local breeds produce less and smaller eggs while the exotic breeds produce more and bigger eggs. Then lastly, the local ones are more resistant to the use, while the exotic ones are less resistant to the use. State three commercial uses of the farm animal labor. So it's used as a source of food, as a source of employment, and then their droppings can be used as fertilizer. Then the D. The D says the setup below illustrates the steps used to test for a food substance so looking at the test tubes we have a test sample here step one suspend test sample in ethanol tube shake until mix well pour the solution into water tube observe the result so white cloudy emulsion already you have an idea if you've read about food tests so i says identify the food test that is being tested for so it's fast that we are testing for whatever you then ii see the purpose of i ii and iii so i what's the purpose of adding the ethanol 
we add the ethanol to dissolve the fat present in the food. Then the two, why do we shake? We shake so that the mixture and the ethanol dissolve and any fat sample present will be dissolved. And the I, I, I says, why is water added? Water is added to the fat so that it will precipitate. What conclusion can we draw from the observation at step four? So the conclusion we can draw is that the cloudy white emulsion indicates the presence of the fat, fat in for the food sample. Take two precautions. So one, work in a highly ventilated area and also you should wear safety goggles and gloves. Now we are at section B. The question 2A. It says what happens to light when it passes through a triangular prism? So the light will be refracted. Yes, when it passes through the prism and then it will be bent into the constituent colors, those colors we see on the rainbow. So I I I says identify the colors of the visible spectrum produced by the prism. So just use the R O Y J B I V. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Then the next question says, so mango is a perennial crop and it, and it cannot be used in the crop rotation cycle because, you know, this season does not end. It just, you keep harvesting year after year and you just have to wait when you harvest, wait for it to get into its season, wait for it to get into its season. And then you harvest again. So the next one, C. Differentiate between parasitism and mutualism. So both are symbiotic relationships between organisms. But with the parasitism, one benefits and one is harmed. So there is dependence on the host. The parasite relies on the host for survival and their reproduction. For example, take feeding on uh, the dog's blood or tapeworm in the human intestine. Then with mutualism, it is where both organisms involved in a relationship benefit from the interaction. So the organisms often depend on each other for survival and then reproduction. So let's look at the bees and then the flowers. So bees pollinating flowers while collecting nectar. And then we have what you call the clownfish. The clownfish lives within the same animal. Yes. Then the bacteria in the human gut eating digestion. So the second part of the C says explain why most parasites do not kill their host. So uh, most parasites do not kill their host because there's a balance. Uh, the primary reason is that there's self-preservation. A healthy living host provides a stable environment and you know, supply of nutrients and opportunities for the parasite to spread. So um, the parasites rely on the host for survival and a dead host means loss of all the resources and it could lead to the end of the life cycle of the parasite. So the parasite needs to you know, adjust and balance so as not to um, Put the host to death. The next question says, give two reasons why water cycle is important in life. So one, it helps in the distribution of water on the planet or across the planet for different purposes, and also it helps to support plant growth. The next one says, state two characteristics of the following. Ruminant. Two characteristics of ruminant. List two human activities that disturb the water cycle. So one, bush burning, and then two, deforestation. These are two activities that disturb the water cycle. Then two characteristics of ruminants for question three. Ruminants, they are four chambered stomach and they regurgitate, they reshield their food. Then next one is monogastric herbivores. Monogastric herbivores. They have one chambered stomach and they are herbivores. Yes. They sometimes regurgitate the food. 
Then the B says, what is the greenhouse effect? Greenhouse effect is the process whereby radiation from the sun is absorbed by these greenhouse gases and is not reflected back into space. So when the radiation hits the earth, it's supposed to go back into space, but these greenhouse gases form an arc. You know what an arc is? It's something like this. So when the radiation hits the earth, it's supposed to return. It's not able to return because of these greenhouse gases. And the radiation means in the atmosphere, warms the planet and leads to global warming. So list three gas is responsible for greenhouse effects. So one, we have carbon dioxide, methane, and then nitrous oxide. So we ask to identify them, A, B, C, and D. So A is wheel and axle. B is a pulley, C is a screw, D is a lever. Then give two common examples of A, B, C, and D. So wheel and axle can be found in bicycle wheels and then car wheels. Yes, you can look at it from the ties. Then the pulley. The pulley is found in an elevator and then a flagpole. Then the C. The C, which is a screw, is found in boats and knots. And then light bulb base. Yes, they act like a screw when you are fixing the light. Then the D is found in a seesaw, also found in a nut cracker or scissors. Then D, identify two breeding places of housefly and explain how the feeding habits of the houseflies make them dangerous to humans. So, decaying organic matter is one of the places and then garbage dumps so how do these um, feeding habitats of housefly make them dangerous when houseflies are feeding on dedicated matter they pick up diseases from pathogens and then transfer them onto food making them dangerous to humans some of these diseases include typhoid and then cholera so question four state two features of planet mercury in the solar system so Mercury is the smallest planet in the solar system. It has no atmosphere. And it rotates very slowly. Name for inner planets. So the inner planets, we have like the way they are arranged. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and then Mars. The remaining are the outer planets. Yes. Then the B, it says, explain the following concepts of waste management and give an example of each. Reduce, reuse, recycle. To reduce means to minimize waste generation by using fewer resources so that you create less waste. The example is using digital documents instead of printing or buying products with minimal packaging. Then reuse. To reuse simply means to use items instead of disposing them after one use to use um, um, a raw packaging you put it down and you reuse it you take it to the market and you reuse it so recycle means to create new products from other materials you've used the next question says identify identify the domestic animal associated with each of the following the first one is Jalonki. Jalonki is a sheep, a shanty dwarf. Shanty dwarf is a pig. West African dwarf. West African dwarf is, is a goat. The New Zealand white is a rabbit. D. Differentiate between unicellular and multicellular organisms. Unicellular organisms are organisms that consist of just a single cell. For example, Paramecium, Euglena, Bacteria. And multicellular organisms, organisms are made up of many cells. We have humans, we have cassava plants, we have a horse. Explain why chloroplasts are found only in plant cells. Chloroplasts are found only in plant cells because of photosynthesis. They are able to convert light energy into chemical energy. 
And since only plants which are autotrophic perform photosynthesis, the pyroclasts are found exclusively in plant cells. And the next question has to do with energy. That's the last question, question five. So, state three advantages of generating electricity from nuclear power. So, one, minimal carbon emission as compared to fossil fuel. So, there is no emission of carbon. Also, we generate a large amount of electricity from a small fuel. So, just with a little uranium, you can generate a lot of electrical energy for use. Then, it provides a consistent, stable power. So the next table has to do with nutrition, nutrients used in body, and then the deficiency. Iron. Iron helps in the formation of hemoglobin, which is used by the red blood cells to carry oxygen. So the deficiency is anemia. Then for rickets, rickets you could have calcium or even vitamin D. It's important for strong bones, having strong bones and teeth. Then they see state two differences between metals and non-metals. One, metals are lustrous. No metals are no lustrous. They are dull in color. Metals are solid at room temperature. While no metals could be solid in liquid or gas at room temperature. The last question of the E C is name three metals and three non-metals in the periodic table. In the periodic table, you could have group one, group two, group three. Not all of them, but most of them being metals. So we have lithium, beryllium, and then sodium. And then for the non-metals, we can have hydrogen, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus. Yes, they are all non-metals. Then state the use of the following tools. I hand trowel. The hand trowel is used for transplanting. Yes. And then also mixing the soil. Then circle. Circle is used for harvesting wheat. And then rice and cutting grass as well. Then knapsack sprayer is used for spreading chemicals in farmland. 